Hey everyone, it is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. So we woke up to some snow this morning. It's been a crazy weather weekend. Um, today's Monday, but we had really warm almost summer, not summer, but you know, early summer temperatures in the upper 70s. And then we had um, tornado watches and storms. And then last night, snow. So there's a two hour delay for my boys' school. So they could be crazy in the background. We're about to leave once I finish filming this video. Um, but we're going to get into some goodness. Uh, well, Happy New Year. Thank you for letting me take the weekend off and not really do... I think I made one YouTube post. I don't know if you saw it or not. Um, I didn't get a chance to do a video for the Group 7 Challenge Digitals. So I made a post about it. Uh, it's also over on Facebook. Um, under, it used to be called announcement section, but I think it's called featured now. Uh, but all of that information is there. Of course, you can do any theme journal you want, and I would love to have you send your journals into me to sell. Today, we are looking at Joy's journals, uh, Joy McClintock. If you've watched my channel for a long time, her name probably sounds a little bit familiar. Her work is incredible. I am super excited to show you her journals. Before I do that quickly, I have a couple things I made over the holidays or the weekend that I need to show you because they're added to the shop. Um, and I'll do that quickly just so you, you can see. So I was just playing around and I made some little mini pockets with um, half of a scalloped circle and then they're stuffed with little bitty ephemera pieces, uh, little tags and things like that and little butterflies and all of that. So these are just really cute for either layering onto a tag or layering in the corner of um, a page or something like that, just to add a little tiny unexpected treat. Then I have a set of journal cards. These are, come on, can't get that paper clip off. Um, so these are, what am I trying to say? Layered. They have scraps in the background, and then there's all these desserts on the front. These are from my Creative Fabrica Fans page. If you're not a part of that, um, my description box below this video has links to everything. But we have Bavarian Cream, Strawberry Shortcake, Cherry Snow, Pumpkin Pie, um, Baked Apples and Brown Sugar, and Ice Cream. And then um, the backgrounds, I've done these hand-dyed papers that are quite stunning very beautiful. I've done these with um, stencils and other uh, techniques. So there's a whole set of those dessert ones for like a cooking journal or a vintage journal or something um, to that effect. Also, these are more of the same type of journal card. They're layered scraps, and then I've just done stamp a stamp on each one of them. There's a whole bunch of them. I'm not going to show you all of them. They're beautiful. They're stitched, and then there's some layering on the background as well, but always a place for you to journal. Made my own little stitched bag from a paper page, Bumblebee and Ladybird embroidery page. Of course, that's a nice, pretty thick pouch that you can reuse. Um, oh, I forgot I had brought this out, so I'll do this real quick. This is for my mother-in-law. She came to visit uh, for Christmas, and she asked if I wanted to sell these vintage... Um, things for her. So they're vintage baby. I think they're from the 60s, but um, little vintage baby papers and then little vintage get well cards. These are used. They have um, writing inside of them, but that's okay. Look at how pretty these would be in a journal, these little cards and things. So you get the whole set. There's some birthday cards and papers, and they come in this vintage envelope. So I thought that would be a really fun addition, uh, selling that for her. I did complete a journal, and this was kind of fun. This is 6 by 8 size, single signature. The cover is a cereal box, and then I layered on a vintage... This is a vintage paper. This is not a print. This is actually like a vintage ledger page. Uh, this is wallpaper on the spine. And then the vintage paper, this front image is from Victoria Designs, and then I've layered on little uh, wooden butterflies. Thank you, Lonnie, for the wooden butterflies. They were part of a Christmas gift she sent me, 
and then just some little baubles and some washi tape and a little bit of stamping a little yellow ribbon closure and i will do a very quick uh, flip through the inside is hand dyed paper that i've done and um, has a ribbon on this side and wallpaper on that side this is extremely sturdy and i've just used various digitals um, of mine like the sustained lace as well as digitals from other people like victoria designs I have a vintage book page quite sweet i don't want to take a lot of time going through it so i have most of the time uh, for joy's journals but i did want to show it to you so you can see there's hand dyed papers book pages vintage prints if you do not have stained lace i love this paper pack it's one of my favorites that i've made i liked it when i made it but when i printed it out it's even prettier on paper and it's this these lovely stained lace backgrounds that look really gorgeous in journals so all different kinds of papers so there's a lot to work with this says love is patient love is kind it's from dreamy designs collection just type that into the shop it'll pop up if you're interested in dreamy designs this is also from dreamy designs got a little a real postage stamp there I got this in Happy Mail. It's so pretty. Added it to the belly band. Have a bingo card. There's a little pocket with some goodies. Little journal card. So this one is, um, what does it say? When the band played home. I haven't actually named it yet, but I might call it band played or something like that. I don't know. But this is in the shop. And let's move along to Joy's journals. So the first one we're going to look at is a Christmas journal. I did not get this shown in time for Christmas. I wish I could have. But like I say, Christmas journals are good year round. It is a single signature. I like single signature for Christmas because it's only one to two months long that you actually want to work in a journal. So this is perfect just for a year oh the pages are beautiful joy does such a good job adding touches but the colors that she has done for this are so vibrant i mean just look at them they're bright they're bold i mean she's even pulling in some purples i'm not going to spend as much time going through the christmas journal since we are past that season but I'll slow down a bit for the other ones that she sent. I just want you to get a sense of the feel of this journal. So if you want it for next year, then um, you'll know kind of what it looks like in here. Christmas bingo. This is adorable. Even this fabric is so cute. So you will never be disappointed with the journal from Joy. She is one of my favorite artists and just incredible work. So... This one, oh, how cute. It's so got some little vintage owls, and then it says Hedgerow Life. So this would be from my mini kit called Hedgerow and Pond. I love the vintage book cover. Um, it is a challenge journal from group five, which we're technically done with, but my fault, there were a couple boxes left. So we're continuing it this week before we go into group six. Pardon the noise in the background. Like I said, my boys are still home. We have Secret Garden, Hedgerow and Pond, Ochre Owls, and then she's also used Forest Owls by Elsie Bell's Bookshelf. So I love um, Elsie Bell's as well. She has some of the sweetest things. We've been looking at these digitals for a while uh, since we've been showing them, but they're always, I just love how they're paired together. How gorgeous Joy makes it. Her sweet little touches. She got rounded corners. Ooh. You know, I love things like this. Just papers to write on that are, this is nice and thick. Looks like maybe it's like a vintage note paper or something. I'm not sure. Beautiful. She adds so many just beautiful touches. Lots and lots of beautiful owls. 
course, a little bit of Edith Holden, Never Hurt. So what, is, what are your plans for the new year? I talked about it over in my Facebook group and asked you all what your focus is going to be for the new year craft-wise. I got some great comments. So if you didn't comment over there, or even if you did, and you'd like to share it again, I would love to hear what your plans are. Um, mine is to, I guess, just continue, continue on to continue to try new techniques, to create, to um, innovate, to foster a sense of community and purpose, to learn new things, you know, the usual, but again, for another year, seeing what beautiful things I can come up with. And of course, learning from all of you, these journals that I get in the marketplace make me such a better artist as I look at them and see everything that you do. So this one says rough legged hawk. It's gorgeous. Audubon's birds of America. So we have a vintage cover here and this is called birds of a feather vintage book cover. There's book corners, lots of pockets, tucks and tags. Joy, you know I love birds, so how precious. We have some vintage book pages here. You see she's reinforced them with music paper. I love that. I'm reinforcing them with a wide washi works really well, too. But sometimes, like me, I don't have a lot of wide washi. Um, so if I don't have the right washi to use or it doesn't stick quite well, then that's a great option. Wow. Just look at there's so many details. I mean, just everywhere. And there's birds on everything. So if you are a nature lover, a bird lover, it's got just a tiny bit of grunge, a tiny bit like the little Tim Holtz feel in the vintage pages. But it has so much, just kind of a hint toward springtime. Perfect any time of the year, of course, but I'm excited um, it's been cold here today, just today, uh, and I'm already missing the warm weather that we've been having and looking forward to spring. I decided I'm already done with winter, even though it's barely started, and the coldest months in Tennessee are usually January and February, so they are still to come. Mm. Joy, your work is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I love it. Gorgeous vintage pages. Got a little pocket in the back. You can tuck something in as well. I know that this one will be loved. Oh, it's gorgeous joy. So beautiful. Look at this cover. Vintage book cover. I'm wondering what the theme is. I can guess, but let's see. Woodland Whispers. Oh, look. There's a jackrabbit there and a little baby fox. I know she loves, like, the nature and woodland, just like I do. She just does such an incredible job. I don't know how she thinks of all these things. Oh, one thing I want to do this year. Let me know if you agree. This is my Woodland Greenery uh, library card. Find that in my shop is I want to start an idea journal. And I know that I'm not going to actually take the time to do a big, bold, you know, oh, here's all the examples. So someone gave me a suggestion um, to just have a notebook and then kind of just draw out your ideas. So when you have an idea, draw it out. I really need to start that. Maybe I can start it today. Look at the little deer. So cute. I wish we could craft together for an afternoon, Joy. These are absolutely beautiful. Look at the little possums. I know somebody will scarf this up. It seems like woodland is one of the best themes as far as popularity. Maybe it's because we can put everything we love in it. I don't know, but so gorgeous. All right, so that is the woodland one. Next, I'm going to guess that it is a sewing journal. 
from the cover, but I haven't opened it yet. It says Making Smart Clothes from Butterick. Oh, so cute. Okay. Sewn with Love. Oh my. Look at that. Uh, I have not made a sewing journal in a while. I used to make quite a few of them, and I even had an envelope with just sewing ephemera because I would pull it out when I did a sewing journal. I don't even know what happened to that envelope. I need to see if I can find it. If I find it, then maybe I can't. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so cute. That's from 1988. Scissors charm. Really cute. So much attention to detail. So much love. Got little pattern pages. Book pages. There's a little sewing machine charm. Oh, that is so cute. We have one more that we're going to look at today. I don't know the theme. I just see that there is a feather. So could be bird, but could be Western. Because it looks like we have like a faux leather wrap. All right. Got the feather. Oh, cowboys. How cute. All right. This is called Happy Trails to You. Oh, I love that. I know this will be popular. Kind of Western cowboy theme. Very grungy. You know what this makes me think of? <laughs> Silly, I know. One of our favorite restaurants is Longhorn. I don't know if you have one near where you are, but every time I go in there, which isn't that often, but <laughs> every time I go in there, I enjoy the Western decor, the the horseshoes and the longhorn bull horns and all of that stuff. This feel to it. It's just beautiful. I'm not a huge Western cowboy fan, but I do appreciate it. And my little boy, my five-year-old, he loves cowboy boots. We got him a pair of cowboy boots for Christmas. He's obsessed. So. Really fun. Somebody's going to love this, Joy. Look at all those raggedy edges. And I love how this leather, um, and it might be real leather. I'm not sure. I'm not good, good with knowing that. But it kind of wraps to protect it. So that's really great. All right. Well, that's certainly been a fun day today, looking at this gorgeousness and adding these items to the shop. I hope that you enjoyed that. We have two boxes left to finish out our group five um, and then right into group six. I know people have been asking questions about the deadlines and other things like that, and I know they get really confusing. But pretty much, and if you're not doing challenge journals, just send your journals in any time. I will still group them and show them with the appropriate group, but you really don't have to worry about that. I have that all handled for you. Um, the only time that you would need to concern yourself with a date to get it to me by is if you're going to do a challenge journal. And if you need to know any details, just email me, message me. I would be more than happy to answer that. But if you're just... Um, you know, being happy-go-lucky, do your journals, send them in, just whenever they're done, put them in their little box and send them to me, and I'll make sure they get shown at the appropriate time. Right now, there's, um, you know, it's about a two-month, not even a two-month wait, but a two-month window where it might be shown. Um, and I don't have a whole lot of boxes for the next one, so chances are if you send in now, they'll they'll get shown in February. So hope you enjoy Today, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you all tomorrow with more inspiration.